Hello everyone, welcome back to free SketchUp tutorial series, the only free tutorial series in an organized manner in YouTube. This is section D of the series. In the previous sections, I have covered many basic and important things you should know before you start drawing shapes in SketchUp if you are new in SketchUp. This is first part of section D in which I will show you five different and important methods to get quick rectangles in your model according to your model demand. Method 5 is pretty unique and new. And I am sure out of all these methods, not everyone knows them all. I will demonstrate them with suitable examples. So let's start. We can make rectangle or square with one single rectangle tool in SketchUp. You can draw rectangles pretty much anywhere in SketchUp. On the ground plane, on a vertical plane, on existing faces, separate from existing geometry, which can be aligned to an axis plane, or it can be inferenced from existing geometry. Method 1. It is of course the basic way to make rectangle. It goes something like this. Select the rectangle tool from the toolbar or press the R key. The cursor changes to a pencil with a rectangle. If you start your rectangle from a wrong place, no worries. Use escape key to start fresh without getting out of the rectangle tool. And this is same to all tools in SketchUp, which I will use later. Now move the cursor diagonally to find the desired size and shape for your rectangle. To draw the rectangle with precise dimensions, use the measurement box, which at this point displays your rectangle's dimensions as you move the cursor. To help you place the rectangle in relation to the drawing axis or other geometry, SketchUp's inference engine displays on-screen tips. To know about inference engine in detail, watch part 10 of this series which is the previous part. As you draw a rectangle, the measurement box helps you model precisely as follows. Set the length and width. Type a length value, a comma, and then the width value. For example, type 6 feet, comma, 18 feet, and press enter. Similarly, you can try some other dimensions as well. If you type only a number or numbers, SketchUp uses the current document unit settings. For example, if I type 96, 192 and press enter, it will automatically take the current units which are inches. So the rectangle dimension will be 96 inch by 192 inch. You can also override the document unit settings by specifying some other dimension units. For example, the current units are inches, so I can put the units in metric also. But for that, I have to type the unit as well, like 1800 millimeters or mm, comma, 6000 mm. An important thing to note that you don't need to click in the measurement box before you type a value. As you draw, the measurement box is waiting for you to type precise measurement if you choose to do so. Also, until you select another tool or draw another rectangle, you can use the measurement box to change a rectangle's dimensions as many times as you like. Method 2 There is another way to create a rectangle by freezing any one side of the rectangle. For that, specify only a length or width. For example, if you enter a value and a comma, once you have set the position for your random rectangle size, let's say 3 feet then comma, then press enter and the new value is applied to the second dimension and the 3 feet value remains same. Let's type another value, let's say 4 feet comma and press enter. You will see that one side of the rectangle is random and another side is fixed to 4 feet.
Similarly, you can do other way around by typing the comma first and then putting the value. For example, let's type a value comma first and then six feet and press enter. You will see now the length of the rectangle is fixed to six feet and width is random. Let's try another value comma four feet six inch. We get the same thing. The length is four feet six inch and the width is random. You can also use negative numbers to get a mirror rectangle or reverse the position of the rectangle. For example, if you enter a negative value, let's say minus two feet comma minus four feet. SketchUp applies that value in a direction opposite to the one that you indicated while drawing. Let's try another negative value of minus three feet comma minus five feet. and your rectangle will be reversed automatically. There is another very easy way to make a perfect square or a golden rectangle with the help of inferences. Let me show you how. As you move your cursor with the rectangle tool selected, the SketchUp inference engine displays the following cues. First is square. When the rectangle's proportions are a perfect square, you see blue dots and the square screen tip appears that says square and the dimensions are visible in the measurement box automatically. Second is golden section. A golden section is a rectangle in which the ratio of the longer side to the shorter side is a golden ratio which is 1.6180. When a rectangle is a golden section, blue dots and the screen tip appears saying golden section. Method 5. This is the most interesting method to draw a rectangle as it saves a lot of time while modeling. The rotated rectangle tool can come in handy when you need to draw a rectangle whose face is not aligned to sketch up defaults, red, green or blue axis or to other geometry. Like the rectangle tool, the rotated rectangle tool enables you to create precise rectangles and squares and displays inferences to help you as you draw. However, when you create a rectangle with the rotated rectangle tool, you position the rectangle at an angle as well. As you can see in the screen how easily we can create rectangles at any angle or plane, can take reference from other planes and can create rectangles on any inclined or curved plane. So how to do that? To create a rotated rectangle, follow these steps. From the large toolbar, select the rotated rectangle tool. By default, there is no shortcut assigned to this tool, but you can do it manually in SketchUp. I have explained that in later videos how to do that. I have assigned Alt plus T as a shortcut to this tool. Also, you can go to draw option in menu bar, then go to shapes and select rotated rectangle from that. So there are two ways you can start making your rotated rectangle. One is by using arrow keys to lock the axis like I showed you before. Press an arrow key to set the plane for your rotated rectangle. For example, press the left arrow key to constrain the plane of your rotated rectangle to the green plane. Click once to set the starting point of your rectangle. Then move your mouse to select the second corner. You can press and hold the shift key to lock the axis and take a reference from other point to define your second corner of the rectangle. Once you select the second corner, you will see in the measurement box that one side of your rectangle is freeze and you can now give the other dimension of your rectangle. Or you can again take a reference from some other point to fix the height of your rectangle and left click in the end to complete the rectangle. Let's try the same process again and see. This time I will use right arrow key to freeze my axis to red 
and select my first corner. Then move my mouse key by using shift key to select my second corner. After defining the height, I will left click again to complete my rectangle. Now that was one way to create a rotated rectangle. There is another way which is more flexible and gives more angle an option to create our rotated rectangle quickly. This time we will not lock the axis. Just select the first corner when your tool is active. Keep it in blue axis only for now. Now move your mouse to select the second corner as we did before. Click to select the second corner and now one edge of the rectangle is fixed. But here you can rotate your rectangle in 360 degrees from that edge. Now after this there are two ways to complete your rectangle. If you look into your measurement box you will see two dimension parameters now. First one is the height of the rectangle and another one is the angle on which you want your rectangle. So either you can directly type both the values as you want in the measurement box and get your desired rectangle. Or you can use inferences to create a parallel rectangle with reference to some already existing geometry in the model. Sometimes it takes a while to find a parallel or perpendicular edge through inferences but you get it eventually after a little adjustment or orbiting your model. To know about inferences in detail watch my previous part, part 10, section C. Let's try another example but this time using the values in the measurement box. Let's bring the measurement box closer. Now starting the same way as before but this time typing the value for the length of the rectangle in measurement box let's say 4 feet. Press enter. Now length is fixed. Now in the measurement box you will see the dimensions has changed to width and angle. So here's a small tip which you can use when you're going to decide your angle. Look closely to the red protector tool when I press alt. The baseline of the protector changes to the angle where I have tilted my rectangle. And it creates a red guide also for reference. So these guides can also help in getting a precise rectangle according to the related geometry sometimes. Rest of the process for putting values is same. So that was pretty much all about rectangles in SketchUp. Further application I will keep explaining as we move ahead in the course learning. Don't forget to watch the previous parts if you haven't so you can keep up with the whole course in an organized manner. In next part of section D I will explain you all about drawing a circle and ellipse all together and what are all possible ways to do that in SketchUp without using any plugins or extensions. So stay tuned. Thanks.